In this video breakdown, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little route combinations out of the tri trips tight end formation, primarily when you motion snap uh, this combination. Now, you are going to need the outside apprentice uh, to run this. You don't have to have it, but it does certainly help uh, with the context or with the um, uh, with the with the uh, concept that we're going to be utilizing because we want to create kind of a scissors action that is going to really dumb out some of the zone coverages, and honestly, it's going to help us beat every coverage of the game. Now. If you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to 30,000 subscribers here at the YouTube channel. My goal is to have 30,000 subscribers by the Madden, by the end of the summer. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I really appreciate it. And I think it's actually your, worth your while because our, our channel, we try to help people get better at Madden every single day. That's what we try to do here at the channel. We post different tips and strategies, offensive tips, defensive tips. Um, different lineup tips and things like that. So if you want to get better at the game, again, hit that subscribe button down below. It's free to do that. I also do want to let you know before we go any further, if you want to get all of my eBooks, you can get them all for one price of just $10 a month over at our Patreon membership. We've got 18 offensive and defensive eBooks over there. The really cool part about the membership is it updates consistently. Every single week we update it with new content, new tweaks, new twists, sometimes new eBooks if necessary uh, to try to break down how you can become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I would really encourage you to sign up for our Patreon. It's only $10 a month and you get a ton of material and you get a ton of support. You get private messaging platforms and things like that where you can ask your crush questions. So if you want to get better at the game, join the Patreon. Today we're talking about PA slot corner out of trips tight end. Probably the best play this year, honestly. Um, there's so much that you can do with this concept and uh, it's just a very, very good play. So PA slot corner out of trips. And we're going to first and foremost talk about this scissors action that we want to create. And what we want to do here is we want to post, we want to put a post route to the outside receiver and smart route it. If you don't have outside apprentice, just fade him. If you don't have outside apprentice, just fade him. But I like to put the smart routed outside apprentice post there. And then what we're going to do on the back side, um, on the back side of this concept, you have to understand what people are going to run against you and what, what they're going to use. So most of the time, uh, most of the, what we want to force them to have to do is defend the whole field on every play. So what I like to do with this concept is I love to motion over the triangle receiver on a on a hitch route. So I'm going to put him on a hitch, but I'm going to motion him to the right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of have a little wide corner concept to the right and a nice little scissors action to the left. So you see that's the setup right there. We got nice little four man pass protection. Now your most important read is of course your corner. Um, right there I threw that just a little bit wrong. Let me show you that one more time. So again, we're just you can also, if you don't want to hitch that player Miller, then put him on a drag, and then you can you can do that as well. But what you're gonna get here is you want to hit this corner right in that little window right there. As you can see, that beats the cover four coverage. Um, What's going to be really cool about this play, though, is not just how it can beat cover four, but how it can beat every coverage in the game. So what you're going to notice here is if I do this motion hitch, again, I can snap it right there. It's just going to sit right there. And then against cover three, I can oftentimes, once this post kind of crosses the face, I can at least have a, a chance for a user catch um, over the middle of the field against cover three. Obviously, I can hit that corner route, and I'll come back to that in just a second. But I do want you to realize... And you, if you have a tight end apprentice, feel free to put him on a short corner if you want to. But against cover three, oftentimes I can hit this. This is at least a one-on-one. -on -one. And if you've got a big body receiver with deep out elite, there's merit to throw that. Trust me. Okay? Um, if you don't want to use this corner route, there are other setups for this. If you want to drag uh, the tight end and curl Scotty Miller, you certainly can do that. I don't want to say that you can't do that. That is still up to you. But the beauty of this is against cover three, this corner route to circle is going to be absolutely open, as you can see right there. There. So then what they're going to do off of this is you're going to force them to Mabel. Now, this is where I really like the hitch because when they Mabel, they're going to have you know two purples and two clouds, but there's no typically speaking, there's not going to be a zone on the, the tight end side. So that's where this curl or this hitch really comes in handy. You'll see that this corner will pull the zones out of the way and it will allow you to just simply hit your hitch right there for an easy you know five to ten yards this is also really good for a situation like a cover two so let's say they go to a cover two coverage which most people realize by now 
they can't really play that against trips tight end. But let's just say that hypothetically that they do. If they run a cover two, this uh, tight end corner is typically wide open on the sideline, as you can see right there. But the other thing and the main thing that this opens up for us is if they're going to sit in a cover two coverage, you're going to have either your hitch or a touchdown. You're either going to have your hitch or you're going to have a touchdown because it's going to depend on their user. Most of the time their user is going to use the hitch right there. But what you'll see is this post to the tight end is going to split the safeties and you've got a nice little one play score against cover two man and cover two zone. Doesn't matter if it's cover two man or if it's cover two zone. So then let's say, for example, that the user decides he's going to go guard the post. Now what, now what the defense has to deal with is the whole middle of the field is going to be wide open. So you can literally just throw your little route right there to Miller. I actually accidentally messed up my... Uh, my play let me show it to you one more time um i accidentally messed up my routes uh so what you can do is you can hit the hitch to scotty miller against cover two if they if they take their user out of the middle of the field and they go guard the post then what you can easily do off of this again it's just a hitch and it's just a smart route of post but if you snap this guy right about here the corner route is going to pull the zones and then you can just simply playmaker him over the middle and there's just you know they, they can't use or everything and that's what makes this such a good concept. If you want to put that player, which I actually think there's some decent logic to doing this, if you want to, what you can also do on this concept is you can actually go ahead and put him on an in route when you motion him over. The reason you might want to do that is just because it's a delayed route that you can hit when you're coming back across. And I accidentally messed up my, my route. Let me show you that one more time. But you can you can you can put him on that as well, just to get him underneath everything, and then of course with your with your slot, uh, with your with your slot on this, you can use again the drag curl or the hitch if you want. But what you'll notice is against cover two, sometimes you can get match if they're not setting zone drops. So if they're not going to set their zone drops and they're going to leave this vert hook here, sometimes that vert hook can match the corner to um you know to this uh to the slot receiver in that situation um he'll still typically get outside leverage but you just want to come back to your curl you just want to come back to your curl okay most of the time they're not going to be playing default vert hooks right uh, but if they are that's something you need to watch out for and the way that you can combat a, a default vertical hook um the way that you can combat a default vertical hook is through utilizing the drag curl or the drag in. And the drag in is where you have a drag and then you have a little baby in route coming in behind it. And you see right there, not only does the, the in route get open late, which this is another, and again, whatever you wanna do with the two man, you can. The main concept with this is we want to run this with our trips to the field. We wanna have a skinny post and then we want to do whatever we want to do with these backside guys. But when you put this little drag and end concept together here, what you'll notice is the vert hook will get sucked down. And then now this is going to get wide open on the sideline for you. So that's a great little feature of this concept. But this is a great route combination for all kinds of situations. If they're going to sit in, in, um, in match coverage, this is a really fun little play for match because you're going to just isolate. The scissors action is really hard to guard and match. Oftentimes that corner's wide open. If I will say match coverage against this is not terrible, but we will get a one-on-one -on, -one on our deep post as well. So again, you know, you've got this little dragon concept right here and you can go ahead and put a wheel out there if you want. So I got the wheel, I got the in, and notice that it's left that wide open, or at least not wide open, but one-on-one. -on -one. So if I've got a good receiver there that can get open on one-on-one, -on -one, I've got a real good opportunity at, at getting a one play score. So again, here's another little, again, just a creative concept uh, to run this with, but this drag in, uh, drag and in route and then a slant, or not a slant, but a wheel to pull the zones. That route right there is so good. And I just, I can't, I can't stress how good that route is. It really is one of the better routes in the game. And when you pair it with a wheel um, and a drag, it makes it a very fun little concept because they can't user it. They can't user anything over there and then still come back over here and be able to guard that route right there, okay? So you're gonna be able to beat every coverage in the game. Um, if they run man-to-man, -man, uh, one thing you might consider 
is a drag and then actually a slant concept. So we've got a drag here, but we've also got a slant. Now your slant comes over the middle and again, just puts them in a tough spot. So you can kind of mix and match whatever you want to do with that little three man quick game. One of my favorite things to do um, that I didn't even hit on, unfortunately in the video, is I could go with a hitch to Miller. I've got a corner to Gronk and then I'm gonna run a table to the back. So you see, this is what it's gonna look like. This little concept is super underrated this year. Um, and what you'll see is a little triangle read, and then you can, of course, cut that off against any zone in the game, and you have your little hitch, but you still have that big time concept on the back side of it, the scissors action. So this is a great little play from Trips. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites. It's probably one of the plays that, again, I need to run this more. I need to run this more. And this is a concept that, again, most people don't run in Madden, but take a look here. Watch how this works. High, low, high, low, and then you get their user having to come over and help, and now you've got that. So you've got great high, low read. Um, you've got a nice little triangle concept on the right, um, and then you've got a nice little uh, scissors two-man uh, concept on the left. And then again, you can kind of tailor this, of course, um, so you can use the, the the wheel to the back. You could even motion block that guy if you want to. So there's so much we can talk about, but this is a great little play and something that I really like to use against the defense, especially whenever they think, um, whenever the defense thinks that everything is going to revolve around the crossing route, you could hit up with something like this, and it really does have have to force them to get out of some of the defenses they're going to play. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full ebook on this, join our Patreon. Remember, by joining the Patreon, you get access to all 18 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. You will also get access um, to any exclusive updates and new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So if you haven't joined the Patreon yet, I would really encourage you to do that. There's gonna be a link in the description. So if you wanna sign up, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there for you.